I've been married to a narcissist for 20 years now. He verbally abuses me, threatens to leave me every single day. I know it's best for me and my kids to leave, but I have nowhere to go and my parents are old and it will impact on them with the impact on them will be very sad. I do not know what to do. Please help me. Bismillah rahman rahim You know, it's so important that we as married couples make sure that we keep giving our or our complaints to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So one of the good things in a marriage is always to read Rabbana Habalana min Azwajina wa Zuriyatina Kurrata Ayuni wa Jaalna lin Muttaqina Imama. You know, may, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us, our spouses and our children, be our coolness of our eyes. That is important. The one part, there's one part. The second part is it, if we put our tawakkul and our yaqeen into the husband as the razik and not Allah as the razik. We want to have everything, but we also don't, don't expect it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember, dua they say, can change destiny. Dua can move mountains. And, and if your husband can be a what type of nastous person, remember Allah can change his heart. Allah can change whatever, uh, the most impossible thing Allah can make possible. Imagine if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was able to let Babi Isa be born without a father. Mm. You know, Allah can't change the mindset of your husband. How many parents made dua, they, they didn't want their children out, but they made dua, oh Allah, change my child, change this. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changed our children. My dear sister, if you think your husband is in the nurses and you, don't want to, you can't get out, start believing in Allah's ability to change situations.